Hi reception, this is your storybook for the week, the dinosaur that pooped a planet. It's quite a funny story. I hadn't, uh, hadn't read that one before. I've sent you a video with me reading the story to you so you'll get to know it, but it's really about a little boy called Danny and his pet dinosaur and they leave planet Earth to go into space and at the end of their adventure there's a new planet a very smelly planet. So in your learning logs, I'll pop this book down, I asked, I said I would post a video about our writing task. So our writing task this week is I would like you in your home learning books, and then you can post me a picture, I want you to make, what shape is this? Pa sharp, pa sharp, that's right, kilch, circle. I want you to make a circle and design or draw that means your own planet this is mine and on my planet i've got rainbows and ice cream and spots and hearts because those are some of the things i like and the, i put rainbow on there because of all the lovely rainbows we've seen in the windows and it's a lovely sign of hope and love and that's why i've put the hearts as well and i've put the ice cream because that's one of my favourite things. I like ice cream. So my planet is made up of lots of things I really like. So I like, I don't know why, but I like spots. And I like ice cream, chocolate in this case. And I love seeing the rainbows. And I love it when people are kind to each other. So that's why I put the hearts. And I want you to design your own planet. It can be anything, anything you want. The whole point of... of um, writing is using your imagination and last week you wrote about under the sea didn't you and i had some lovely amazing sentences about under the sea remember the picture with the shark so this week i want you to write about your planet but you have to draw it first so you can put anything you want on there Scooby-Doo. I know a little boy would love to put Scooby-Doo on there. You could have footballs, you could have candy floors, you can have unicorns, you could have anything, favourite food, could be a planet of your favourite games, anything, could be a planet of numbers, anything you want, you draw on your planet. You may get a mummy and daddy to help you and then you're going to write a sentence or two about your planet. So what we'll do is we'll write about my planet now. I'm going to pop that on there. There we go. Is it going to stick? There we go. Can you see that? Yes. And then I put the head in my planet. But the first thing we need to do is think about the centers. What are we going to write? So I'm going to look at this planet and I could start the sentence with my planet has rainbows and spots so we could write that my planet has rainbows and spots so that's my sentence so i'm going to write it now you all know that tricky word my it's the one we practice lots and lots and it's in the heading in the title my so we start can you see if i know so if i'm gonna to have to move this back a little bit can you see? It? I'm going to start here. Can you see if I'm... Oh, start here. <laughs> I'm going to start there. So, I'm going to do a big mm, because it's a capital. Just move it a tiny bit more. There we go. My. Remember we said that's the tricky letter because it makes an I sound, not a y, y, y. My. That'll be a finger space, planet. And this is a capital. It sits on the line, but when it's a lowercase, remember the smaller, it sits on the line. I'm just going to copy that word and you can copy it from me as well. But you could sound out planet, planet. You know how to write these words because you know all your sounds. And et. So my planet is spotty and has rain. 
same goes. I'm not sure if I changed the centres a bit, but my planet, planet is spotty and has rainbows. So my planet is, again, two sounds you can do it. It's. And don't forget that finger space. And don't forget putting your letters on the line. I've been so pleased with all the lovely writing you've been sending me. And Mrs. Back and Miss Edwards were delighted last week with some of your writing. Is. And the new word. So you always leave a space between each new word. That's where the spaces are. Spotty. And we've done this one before. We've done, I think we've done spotty three times now. Spotty. Something about the t. How many? That's right, two. And then there's that tricky e at the end. And what? And that letter. Look, it, it makes a different sound there. It makes an i sound in this word. But in spot e, we use a y. But it makes an e sound. So it's made. Oh, excuse me, I've got itchy eye. So what was the first one? S can you see? P. Sit it. On the line, the curly bit, because our letters don't float in the air. Make sure you sit them on the line. Oh, and look at the way I'm writing these letters. Don't forget that I'm going to be looking to see you starting those letters in the right place. I'll know by the way you've written it. I can tell. Spot. And what did we say? How many of them? Two. And there's that tricky letter. I remember the long tail goes underneath, but spot E. So let's go back. My planet is spotty and because that's that connective and you can see it. I'll write it down here so you can see it. And I remember the d d d. You start with the curly cut. That's how you know because the b starts at the top and so let me remind myself what I was going to write so I'll go back and read it my planet is spotty and has has three sounds and you know them all has oh it's a noisy pen isn't it has rainbows now in rainbows we've got the a r a -n. and i actually think it's in your learning log this week i'm sure i put it in as one of your words to learn so r and i'm going to try and join this now i'm going to move my pen a what's that like? look joined it rain remember the Tongue is at the top, rain. Can't see my tongue because it's touching the top of my mouth. Mm. Rain. Bows. Now, bows. What's that? But. And where does the but start? At the top. Down. Back up. Oh, now. It's a tricky one. Do I do the oh? Oh, the billy goat. There's another way of doing it, isn't it? Oh, it's this one. That makes a oh sound. A, oh, I know what. Can you see it? I move it. There we go. Oh, s rainbows. Because there's more than one. So we add a s. And then what I put at the end of my sentence? A full stop. So let's read my sentence again. Can you read it? My planet is spotty and has rainbows. Brilliant. Now let's count how many words are in that sentence. Because a sentence always starts with a capital letter, always ends with a full stop, and, and there's always gaps in between the words. So let's count the words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because that's one joined word, isn't it? It's called a compound word because it's two words joined together. So your activity this week, anytime, make your planet, draw it in your home learning book and write me a sentence about it. Hope out.